What's up, guys? Tony Pecker out here. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm the broadcaster for the Evansville Thunderbolts hockey team. I've been broadcasting professional hockey now for five years, and um, this is my first attempt at doing a vlog, and I have no experience in vlogging whatsoever, so it's probably going to come out bad. So I'll <laughs> just warn you all now. But um, anyway, essentially this video is just going to be about, you know, day in the life of a broadcaster on a game day as um, Evansville's taking on Birmingham this weekend, tonight and tomorrow. So take it a little bit throughout my day and um, see if you find anything interesting or not. It's not too glamorous, but it's a lot of stuff that happens throughout the day as I get ready for a game. So I guess without further ado, uh, time to head out and hit the road, get to the Ford Center as um, you guys should be on the ice for um, pregame skate. All right, so it's a little after 10.30, and here for warm-ups at the Ford Center. I wasn't able to capture much. I was doing a little running around this morning, but regardless, usually I get here, take a look at how the guys are doing on the ice, get ready for the game, and um, try to get a feel from some of the guys in the locker room and what to expect on the night. So I wasn't able to see anything that was going on really during the warm-ups, uh, just because of all the running around I was doing. But some of the guys are still out here, so I'll watch for a few minutes, and uh, Probably head out shortly after, but while I'm here, give you guys a look around. All right, well, it's noon, and I usually don't spend a whole lot of time at the rink in the morning on game days. Usually I'm there for like an hour, maybe hour and a half at the most. But got out of the rink, it's noon now, and out grabbing lunch now. And those of you who know me well, you know one of the things I do like to go to every now and again is checkers and rallies so i'm giving you some some of that i actually haven't had checkers or rallies in about a month which i know a lot of you think i'm kidding but no i've been good lately about trying to eat somewhat healthier but to figure today might as well get get a little checkers and rallies for uh game day all right so i got my lunch now I'm just gonna head to the store then head home all right it's about one o'clock just had my lunch it's hanging out for a few minutes and now it's time to get back to work so Now's about the time where I start getting my notes together for tonight. So I got my binder and I have all my notes in. I'll show you a little bit from that in the pat from my past games. And uh got the iPad going here so I can research tonight's game. I got you know players, uh, comparisons of the two teams, Evansville and Birmingham tonight, see how everybody's played against each other, etc. etc. And uh take it back a couple games to let you see. Example of some of the stuff I put on here for my game notes, obviously the date, and I'll write on the top here throughout the game, like who has, you know, shots per what period, uh, the officials, who's on call, who's on injured reserve, who's the team leader, you know, goals and points, um, season series stats, um, stats on who's, you know, the records after leading or trailing with each period, and some league leaders on the team streaks, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I put a lot of stuff on here, and even... A lot of games, I'll use maybe a little over half of this. And um, obviously, I doubt any of you guys can read any of this. My handwriting is pretty bad. But um, nonetheless, you know, just getting notes together and getting prepared for every game, really, usually in the afternoons. All right, guys, it's 415. Got my notes done a little while ago. I was able to take a little bit of a nap because I had the time for it. Now it's time to ready for the game. Time to change. And I'm all set. Time to go. All right. And now we're at the Ford Center. I always love the feeling getting inside the building. First thing you smell is the popcorn cooking. And you know it's game night. All right. And here's a look in the office. First place I go to first. Get my game notes. And change into suit jacket. And because he begged to be in the vlog pleaded and begged to be in this thing. Meet Tim, folks. How you Tim doing? is the public relations manager, correct? You got it. Yes, he pleaded and begged, begged to be in this vlog. Absolutely begged. And there he is. Bye, Tim. Bye. All right, now, take the elevator up to the fifth floor. Now we're on our way to the press box. And here is the view. And as we approach the press room, big question, is it open? It is. Sometimes it isn't, but it's not really a big deal. Here's a little quick look. Street computer usually, or the mix all our computer usually goes there. Got the soundboard here. 
and the New Line computer. New Line, of course, is the streaming service of the SPHL. We're going to take a look. Here's a big view of all the action at a nice level. We go over to our right, got a couple of media boxes. Usually this one right here is usually for whoever, if there's an away broadcaster, he's usually in booth number two. And then you usually have a camera crew in three. And this side, we got usually the office officials and various media personnel where they'll just, you know, they'll work the sites. It's usually the people that put the stats on the league website and et cetera, et cetera. And we got a little TV that also plays the action that goes up on the Jumbotron. And that's pretty much it. It's not much, but it's a really nice press facility. All right, it's almost 6 o'clock, so it means it's almost door opening time here at the Ford Center. It's about time for me to get my pregame coffee in. And one of the things I used to like about in Brewster and Danbury when I worked for the Bulldogs, Titans, and Whalers, uh, getting ready for broadcasts, is we had, a dunk, we had plenty of Dunkin' Donuts in the area. And they haven't really opened up here yet, but they're opening a Dunkin' Donuts here finally in about a week or two. But in the meantime, they got it in the stores. So, at least for now, this will be my pregame dunk. All right, it is 6.42. Both teams are on the ice for warm-ups. I'll be going on the air right after warm-ups end, so in about 10 minutes. And that's pretty much it. Now I just wait for the starting lineups to get up and really get things going. Just got through warm-ups, got through my pre-game show. Now we got about three minutes, and then we get the starting lineups and the start of the game. Well, one period to the books here. I got a couple minutes to rest up and kind of get notes together and I'll have a little intermission show, but not really a whole lot goes on the first intermission or the second really. But uh, we got a chance to rest the voice for a couple minutes and uh, just get ready to go for the next period of play. You know, we got some stuff going down ice. Shuffle, shuffle. Well, that's it from here. Thunderbolts win 4-1 over Birmingham. Meeting it tomorrow night, so. Now it's time for my post-game recap to write up. I gotta put some footage together uh, for my own personal hard drive and the other team gets a uh, copy of the footage as well. Write the post-game recap, head back downstairs, head home, and then, well, do it again tomorrow. So, I think I'll just wrap it up here. So, hope you enjoyed this uh, little vlog of mine. That's pretty much a day in the life on a game day for me as a broadcaster for Evansville for the Thunderbolts and I gotta say it, it gets fun sometimes and it's fun a lot or fun all the time really um, yeah, that's really all I got to say so thanks guys for uh, watching this little video thank you everybody for the support for the past few years both old supporters and new family friends you name it and um, if you haven't already make sure to like make sure to share the video make sure to subscribe please because I need to get a thousand subscribers over the next month to keep my YouTube partnership so that's a whole rant in itself really but I'll save that for another day but um, yeah so hopefully if this video gets uh, well received might do some more so be sure to like it there's Tim again hey Tim there's Tim he had to be in the last part of this video but nonetheless like I said guys like share subscribe and uh, stay tuned more might be in the works thanks guys Woo!